Hi guys and welcome to a video about Sendero del Pijaral. This is a trail that goes from a place called La Enciada, deep in Anaka Rural Park, uh, to Cabeza del Tejo uh, Mirador and back. And this is definitely one of the child-friendly trails in Anaga. As you can see, <laughs> I'm hiking it with my son and he's having loads of fun. So if you secure the permit in time, your children will enjoy this. We are 300 meters in the trail and as you can see this is your regular really nice picturesque Hanaga forest here and how these videos work is that such scenic spots or roughly every two meter I'll make a short video so that you know what to expect from the trail. We are now 900 meters in the trail and you might be tempted to go up to Roque Chinobre, so the peak, highest peak of the trail but you definitely shouldn't do that even if you haven't read the trail hiking rules because it's prohibited area so if they catch you then it's also a fine for you so don't do it uh, just keep on uh, following the trail and one kilometer in the trail you will see this fork the official trail map suggests that you go to the left because this is the return way so it's a circular trail also one more benefits of this but we are continuing on here at the 1.2 kilometer mark you can see that there is a path up here and you can sort of notice that there is a, a cliff there, so the end of the ridge. Uh, so if you cannot wait till the turnaround point at the Mirador at the end of the trail, then you can also walk up here and you will get your beautiful ears a bit earlier. So here you can see this, this section probably here is not child safe, so you should, <laughs> shouldn't bring your kids up here. But uh, basically, this is what you see. Okay, let's head back. Ah, look, this is about the 1.7 kilometer mark. Oh, we found some Neanderthal living under the rock. <laughs> the trail continues there. Let's take a look at the view. Still obstructed by small trees a little bit but yeah views of the ocean and around the two kilometer mark we had a bit of an ascent and we are reaching this plateau a small plateau here and continuing on to the mirador cabezo del tejo and the 2.3 kilometers in the trail you will come across this peak here and uh, you would have to double check this in probably more credible sources but supposedly this is the core of a uh, volcano so the more soft earth uh, around the core has fallen off and what you see is uh, frozen cooled off magma And this is the descent to Cabezo del Tejo, Mirador. Uh, we are approaching the turnaround point of the trail and get ready for some really beautiful views of the Anaga mountains. Uh, this is a circular trail and it's special because uh, this is the only trail where you need a special permit that you need to book at least two or three weeks in advance before coming to the Anaga Rural Park uh, to uh, hike it. If you don't have the permit and you get busted by the park rangers, then there is a 600 euro fine. Uh, the trail itself, is not more picturesque than the top Hanaga trails like TF6, TF8 or TF11 but it is special probably for people who have a deep interest in biology uh, this is apparently it crosses an area that is most uh, biodiverse in the whole uh, rural park many many hundreds of species of insects and flora um, and uh, this would be also a great trail for people who don't want something uh, physically challenging so senior citizens, uh, families with kids. Okay, we've now had an excellent lunch in Cabezo del Tejo, Mirador or Lookout with beautiful views of uh, Anaga uh, mountains, rolling mountains. And as you can see, there is a sign Retorno. So we are continuing, re returning on a slightly different path than we came here. Uh, we are uh, now at 3.3 kilometers. So, but the whole trail shouldn't take more than six. This is what the trail looks at 3.5 kilometers. It's much wider than on the way to the Mirador. And here you can also see some of the old shepherds or mountaineers caves probably where they could seek refuge from a poor weather. This is probably the most spacious one that I've seen. You can first of all stand upright here 
and there is space for, I don't know, more than 10 people if they would want to. There is another one next here. So I think it's probably, this used to be a major uh, pathway between villages. Brief point about the name of the trail. So currently it is known as Sendero del Pijaral because it goes in the Pijaral Nature Reserve. But uh, I don't know how many years ago, but I talked to the information uh, office people in Cruz del Carmen and this trail used to be the TF7. So if you will take a look at the official maps of the park, the trails are numbered from TF1 to TF12, but conspicuously TF7 is not to be found. So when apparently it uh, was the TF7 was taken away from this trail, not to draw attention, because uh, it's sort of a bioreserve and the park management wants to uh, preserve this area. So only sort of people who are really motivated, first of all, find it on the internet and then you also have to sign up. So from the Mirador, the trail continued like this for the last three kilometers. We have about 800 meters still to walk. We are reaching the road here. And it's right back up here. Up until the parking lot, if you don't want to walk on the forest hike, you can just take the road. And we are back at the intersection that you saw at the start of the video. So the trail towards the lookout is that way. And we have about 500 meters still left to the parking lot. Here's a reminder why you need a permit for this trail. So it's not only about nature preservation, but it helps you to avoid the 601 euro fine. This is the start of the trail. On Google Maps, you can look for a place called La Ensillada. It's about 40 minutes drive from La Laguna, 45. And there is uh, fortunately plenty of parking space. So you can leave your car here, but don't leave any belongings because there have been cases of uh, car break-ins. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, press like and spread the word and see you in the next one.